show me the product, we could have done it. Everything all crazy, it's all get it. And I just want to move on and not regret it. But the past is too dark, it just can't forget it. Securing the nails in the coffin. I don't get this feeling so often. You made me this way, I was off. I'm done now, and this is your caution. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nitro episode 15. We are here in Orlando, Florida. And we have got another exciting edition of Nitro tonight. We're here in Full Sail University. I am Josh and kicking off the show, we have got the goddess Alexa Bliss going up against Mickey James, hardcore country herself. If you missed last week's episode of Nitro, I implore you to go back and watch it. We had a devastating main event. We had Ronda Rousey trying to take the women's championship away from the women's champion herself. Bailey in a steel cage match. Bailey was bleeding. She was busted open. But after a grueling, quick, hot paced match, Bailey was able to get the victory after diving from the top of the cage. Go and watch that. But tonight we've got Mickey James and Alexa Bliss. And we've got other exciting matches tonight as well. We've got five matches in total. As I said, we've got Mickey James as she comes out here. Hardcore Country up against Alexa Bliss. We've also got the continuation of the Starcade World Cup. In A Block, we've got Tyler Breeze going up against Montez Ford. Montez Ford making his day. View. In B block, we've got EC3, the million dollar champion, going up against Pete Dunne. Match two Star Kid World Cup matches. We have also got a number one contendership match for the Tag Team Championships. Last week, we heard that Roman Reigns has got one more opportunity with the Nation of Domination. It's going to be Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley going up against LWO, that team featuring Rey Mysterio. And Andrade, Cien Almas. But in the main event tonight, that's where it gets really exciting. We have got Jeff Hardy, the number one contender to Seth Rollins' Universal Championship. Going up against Johnny Gargano. That's it, Survivor Series. But we've got this match, Mickey James. Hardcore Country up against the Goddess, Alexa Bliss. Both of these women lock up. Center of the ring, Mickey James with the early advantage. Mickey James, the far more experienced wrestler in this match. Mickey James has had great success wherever she has been. Multi-time women's champion in WWE and also TNA and other organizations I am sure as well. Alexa Bliss, she is no slight either. Former Raw and SmackDown women's champion multiple times as now look at this. Mickey James blowing a sarcastic kiss and Alexa returning it in suit. Both of these women were at one point friends. They were Alexa! Alexa, you just gotta stop talking! Uh, she is unplugged! <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Apparently, I have an Alexa with me at ringside. That's the size of the point. Look at that! Oh! Alexa Bliss! Tries to grab Mickey James and she gets caught. I suppose it's always a bit of a struggle having an Echo Dot with you at ringside as Mickey James jamming Alexa Bliss is back right into that barricade. Games through and Alexa back in the ring. But yes, also tonight we have got Seth Rollins with a vignette. Seth Rollins has uh, taken a two episode break away from Nitro as Lex Bliss delivers a dropkick after Jeff Hardy attacked him from behind, delivering a pile driver from the apron to the floor below to the hard wooden floor. Seth had to recover. But he's gonna be he's, he's not clear to compete, although there's talks of him competing next week. And next week, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a very exciting show as well. Next week, it's gonna be held in the Hammerstein Ballroom, the spiritual home of ECW. And that is set to be in a very exciting show, a mini pay-per-view of sorts, as Mickey James with a beautiful hurricane ran and I to Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss now gets nailed with a Mr. Perfect like neck breaker. Big James hooks the leg, goes for the cover. There's a one count and a two count and a kick out by Alexa Bliss. Able to get her shoulders up from the mat. As I said, Alexa Bliss, former women's tag team champion as well. As well as women's champion for Ron Smackdown. But this is Nitro as Mickey James is firmly in control of that flapjack. 
We have just had Bailey as our women's champion. Bailey has had a very impressive performance. She has been stuck up against Ronda Rousey. And Shayna Baszler, that combo seems to be deadly. Although I do think Ronda must have had... I know I know it's Ronda Rousey, but I do feel like she must have had a final opportunity at this point. As Alexa Bliss delivering the knife edge chops here. And here comes a series of elbows here. One after another. There you go. Ronda Rousey has been beaten by Bailey now on multiple occasions. Even in technically Ronda's own field, there's now Alexa Bliss showing supreme confidence. With a foot right to the face of Mickey James. And then she gets that boot on just standing on her head. Oh, oh, the two knees. And then they got insult to injury. That is signature Alexa Bliss. The double knees to the midsection. Hooks the leg. One kind, two kind by Slater, your referee Heath Slater. Alexa thought that was a. A three count, it was not. But yes, as I said, we've also got the Starcade World Cup happening tonight. Continuing, we've got Tyler Breeze and Montez Ford. That is sure to be exciting. As I said, the debut of Montez Ford. As Alexa Bliss gets driven into that turnbuckle post. Shoves her off now. And what's this? Oh, both women lock up. Mickey James is able to push Alexa off. And no, a step for him. We've also got the million dollar champion EC3. Going up against Pete Dunne. Oh, and now Mickey James on the top rope. You don't see this too often. A beautiful cross body to the outside. Picture perfect. Mickey James going to the high risk district. Trues. Alexa Bliss into the ring. Hooks the leg. Slater's down. There's your one. There's your two. There's a kick out though. By Alexa Bliss. Mickey James now pulling at the neck. And as I said, again, number one contendership match, LWO. Rey Mysterio and Jadi Stian Almas. Latino World Order going up against the Nation of Domination. With that team featuring Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley. This is Bobby Lashley's debut. Because Roman Reigns has been seemingly holding down the other members. Oh, hold on a second. Nice. Kind of. Oh, and Enziguri, though. And Enziguri, though, by Alexa Bliss. So, yes, that match is also happening tonight. It is an exciting night of action and I'm sure we'll also get announcements for next week as well these two women are going tit for tat here knife edge chops upper left sends her picks up on the top rope oh no Mickey James able to get out of it Alexa wants to get another person another knife edge chop picking her up again she wants that superplex and there's a knife edge chop she gets that one here we go now here we go, Alexa has got Mickey set up into a superplex position. She gets it. And she goes for that cover, a smart, wise decision. There's a one count, a two count, and a kick out. Just in the nick of time for Mickey James. And now, trying to pick up Mickey James up. No! Mickey able to reverse it. Oh, goes for the small package. She rolls up Alexa with the small package. The goddess, is this going to be it? The end of the match? No, it's not. No, it is not. Not just yet, anyway. Form shot reverse now by Alexa Bliss. A kick to the midsection. Kick to the gut again. Oh, no, DDT. Reverse into a northern light suplex. A beautiful bridge there from Mickey James. Gets a one count. Gets a two count. Gets a surprising three count. Mickey James reversing. I think Alexa was going for that DDT, the signature DDT that she performs. Mickey James able to reverse that into a bridging Northern Lights suplex. Able to get the one, the two, and the three. A big victory. Lots of momentum for Mickey James as we kick off tonight's episode of Nitro. Oh, hold on a second. There's the women's champion up on screen.
You've heard it there first, folks. After an, a fantastic performance by Mickey James up against Alexa Bliss, we are getting Bailey versus Mickey James next week at the Hammerstein Ballroom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Women's title on the line, and it's going to be a straight fight. That is for next week. That is very exciting. But, folks, we have got to continue. It is now time for the Starcade World Cup, the first of the two matches that we will be having tonight. And of course, first off, we have got Tyler Breeze. He calls himself Gorgeous. Gorgeous? Maybe he does call himself Gorgeous, but he also calls himself Gorgeous. The Gorgeous one, Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze in NXT formerly was one of the hottest properties in NXT. Many were touting him to become the champion in NXT. But of course he did not do that. He has not found any single success in his time in WWE, NXT or Nitro as of yet. But this tournament, this Starcade World Cup, if you don't know what happens when you win the Starcade World Cup, well let me tell you, whoever wins the Starcade World Cup will go on to Starcade to face whoever the Universal Champion may be. Will it be Jeff Hardy? Will it be Seth Rollins? I do not know. We will find out at Survivor Series, of course. But Tyler Breeze is out first. This is the A Block Qualifier match. And then next week in the Hammerstein Ballroom, we're going to be getting started with the quarter final matches. This is the final week of qualifying matches. And we'll be reaching the finals. Out first, you saw him. Tyler Breeze, but out next, you're getting the debut of Big Money. Mon Tez Ford. And look at this, a whole new attitude, a whole new style. Adorning Mon Tez Ford. He debuted. He came face to face with Seth Rollins at TakeOver. And as you can see, he's being accompanied by Angelo Dawkins. Let me just give you a little background to that. Obviously, Mon Tez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, they are most well known as the tag team, the Street Profits. However, Angelo Dawkins, before TakeOver, suffered a knee injury. You can see the brace around his left leg. He suffered a severe knee injury, which will be taking him out of action. We don't know for how long yet, but it's certainly looking like it's going to be the rest of the year. So Montez Ford is able to go in the singles round, and he has seemed to embrace it in full. Angelo Dawkins taking the managerial role tonight. As we have got Tyler Breeze getting right in the face, and look at that. Montez Ford being his cocky self and Tyler Breeze is responding into who's gonna win? Montez Ford looks insane as does Tyler Breeze. Who's gonna win? Oh look at this, we've got a slug fest starting this one off. We've got fists to fly in a plenty. Montez Ford, look at this. Oh and a goes for a punch to the back of the head. And a stiff form shot there by Tyler Breeze. These two men trading shots back and forth. Both men look at each other. A front neck lock. And look at this. Oh, here we go now. He gets him down to the ground. Montez Ford has got this one in control, but no, Tyler Breeze is able to uh, get to his feet. Couple elbows to the gut. He breaks free of that grip. Does Breeze. Knife edge chop reversed by Montez Ford, who gets, oh, a punch to the head. No, he doesn't. Nice duck by Tyler Breeze. Oh, and the nice, oh, look at these two are going back and forth. Two very quick athletes, and Tyler Breeze absorbing that kick to the back. Shot to the gut, once again reversed by Montez Ford. Tries another punch, but no, it's Tyler Breeze who reversed with kick. And now bounces. Montez Ford off the ropes, Irish whip. Tries a kitchen sink, although Montez Ford's able to reverse it just there. Now he goes for the Irish whip on Tyler Breeze. He ducks underneath now. He leapfrogs over the top rope. And now, oh, and a stiff running clothesline. And look at the crowd reaction. A hot, fiery start to this one. What else would you expect here on Nitro? Oh no, a stiff, no, a stiff punch. Able to be reversed by Tyler Breeze. And now look at that, as Tyler Breeze looking to pick up Montez Ford. Montez Ford able to slip, to slip him, slip the legs out from under him. And now trying for an elbow, a pinpoint elbow drop. Tyler Breeze able to get out of it though. He tries an elbow of his own, but he, no, no! A nice old hip toss there by Montez Ford. A nice arm drag there. From Tyler Breeze. These two are just going at each other. Oh, look at this. Going for the arm. Prettier in the early stages. No, Montez Ford able to reverse a victory roll. Jackknife. One, two. Oh, and the kick out just in the nick of time. These two are just not stopping. Scoreboy there by Tyler Breeze. It's his turn. And it's not even a one kind. Not a one kind. 
for Tyler Brace. A nice schoolboy! Schoolboy tapped now by Montez Ford. There's one count down. There's only a one count there. That victory roll jacked out by Montez Ford was very impressive. He almost got the victory there. That was a quick two count, but both men are... Well, they are... Uh, they, they know what's going on. They know what the game is. Not, oh, he tries to pick him up. No, he doesn't get it. Oh, a beautiful Chris fix. These two men trying to get quick pins. as a two count. Is that going to be it? No. Not going to be it just yet. As now Tyler Breeze scales the top rope. Montez Ford with a running drop kick. And now it's high risk positioning. No. I need the face. Oh, look at this now. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's going for the unpretty again. But no. It's time Montez Ford to reverse. And they've, oh, the final cut. Sending Tyler Breeze. Crumpling to the mat. With the canvas below. Montez, as I said, it's been quick, it's been hot, it's been fiery. Nice suplex there by Montez Ford. Oh, what is this now? Oh, hold on, back suplex, and he gets a nice combination into an elbow drop. The suplex into the back, suplex into the elbow, into the cover, into the two count, into the kick out from Tyler Breeze. The gorgeous one still in this as now Montez Ford tried to miss a perfect like neck break and Tyler Breeze again able to reverse it. What's he going for? Oh he goes for the unpretty again but no it's Montez Ford reversed it with forearm smash. No he tries something but Tyler Breeze is able to get out of that one. Big money Montez Ford and the gorgeous one Tyler Breeze are going after each other one after another. And now for the first time in this match it seems Montez Ford seems to be in some type of control over him. He's, he's uh, <laughs> swiping his feet. Swiping his feet off the mat, and now as Tyler Breeze is on the outside, Montez Ford looks to follow him. It's no man's land when you get out there, and it's a 20 count for our matches here on Nitro. So these guys could stay on the outside for an extended period of time if they want. Montez Ford's on the top rope now. Maybe he was looking for that frog splash of his, one of the best frog splashes in the game. Tyler Breeze up to his feet, is now a missile drop kick. Misses by Montez Ford. Breeze is in control, and he gets a backdrop suplex. Spiking Montez Ford in the back of his head as now he hooks the leg. Referee he slid it down for the cover. There's a one kind, there's a two kind, and Montez Ford able to get the shoulder up before the three kind. Tyler Breeze cannot believe it. He cannot believe that it was not a three kind. What a match this is. It is hot, it is fiery. I can't imagine it lasting much longer as these two guys. Oh, a supermodel super kick there, and a drop kick to the back by Montez Ford, who's able to reverse the supermodel super kick, getting out of the way of it. He bounces off the ropes, now tries an elbow drop, and there Tyler Breeze able to roll to the outside. That's now Montez Ford flies through the air. Montez Ford flying through the air like Superman. And now he picks up Tyler Breeze. He wants him back in. That was perfect. He gets him. He's on the top rope. Tyler Breeze in the compromising position. Oh, but he gets up before Montez can get that frog splash. That missile drop kick, though. Missile drop kick by Montez Ford as Montez Ford picks up Tyler Breeze. What's he looking for here? Irish whip off the ropes. Into the spine buster. A perfect spine buster. Montez Ford leaps up to the top rope. He's in the perfect position. He's calling for something, is he calling for that frog splash, a six star splash! Hooks the leg, Heath Slater down on the ground, two, three, Montez Ford moves on in the Starcade World Cup, defeating Tyler Breeze in a hot, fiery, quick pace, non-stop match. Very well deserved victory there by big money Montez Ford. He is partying over to that cup. A celebratory party cup. He'll be celebrating tonight after a great victory. And that means, folks, Montez Ford will be going up against AJ Styles. Oh, as we cut backstage, the beast Brock Lesnar seems to be communicating with his advocate, Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar is signed to a exclusive two-month Nitro deal, taking him all the way up to Starcade. What is Lesnar's plans for Survivor Series? You gotta think he's got something. He's talking with Heyman about it. What are we gonna see? And folks, we've gotta continue going on. It is a non-stop show. High octane, high impact. We have got another Starcade World Cup match. And out next is the Million Dollar Champion, accompanied by the Million Dollar Man. Being accompanied by the Million Dollar Man is Ethan Carter III. 
the man who won a fatal four-way match at TakeOver, defeating the likes of The Miz, Buddy Murphy, and Ricochet in order to get a grasp of that title. A beautiful redesign of the Million Dollar Championship. It is stunning. And AC3, he's coming out. This is, this is a new trajectory in his path here. Many have argued EC3 has been stagnant in his career up till now, but as you can see, completely reinventing himself into a proper threat. With Ted DiBiase at his side, who can stop Ethan Carter III at EC3? I do not know. We may find our answer tonight, though. But it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the logistics of the Million Dollar Championship. I don't know how regularly defended it's going to be. It's not an official title. It's not... Like the Universal title, the Intercontinental, the Tag Team, or the Women's, it's just a, from what I understand, a decorative piece. Well, who knows, maybe in certain matches, maybe, who knows, maybe he's unofficially putting up on the line, we don't know. I certainly haven't been told. But yes, AC3, I said reinventing himself, coming out on top of that takeover. It was a very strong performance, attacked before the match even started, and even still he was able to get into it and to be able to defeat three of a very skilled man. And he has taken his time. He has made sure everybody knows and sees that title in its fullest. Give him credit. This guy, this guy could easily challenge Seth Rollins. And honestly, I know Seth Rollins has been highly impressive. EC3 could take it from him. Fairly young, extremely gifted, extremely strong. The Million Dollar Prince going up against the Bruiserweight. The longest reign in United Kingdom champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Wearing the Ahsoka, the Ahsoka logo, he is coming out here for battle. Pete Dunne, the Bruiserweight, as I've said, one of the most dominant United Kingdom champions, only losing that title to Volta, but very, very impressive. I'm having classic matches. I can immediately think of Tyler Bate, one of his former Kingdom teammates. Although, honestly, if you don't know, there was a, a faction going along in the early stages of this universe mode called the Kingdom that featured Drew McIntyre, it featured Pete Dunne, it featured Tyler Bate, but he doesn't seem to be accompanied by either of them. So maybe he's going up this low, maybe they're together, I do not know. But it's not wise to be coming out here alone, especially when you have the, the million dollar man to contend with on the outside. The million dollar prince, EC3. The Bruiserweight, Pete Dunn. Heath Slater rings the bell and we're off here. Pete Dunn immediately getting started, a running forearm smash in the early stage of this one. And he is starting his dissection, it seems. He's grabbing that arm in there. Here, this is it. Joint manipulation. Limb assassination. That is the name of Pete Dunn, the psychotic surgeon. Pete Dunn. He is wrenching that arm back. He's wrenching it strong here. He grabs him and then... Oh, the double knees to the back there. Double knees to the back. Picking EC3 up to his feet now. A slap to the face. Look at this. EC3 has not had a single bit of offense yet. It's been all Pete Dunn. Unless it's not looking like a good sight. And then I'm getting flashbacks to literally the match previous. You know, to Tyler Breeze and Montez Ford. This match does not seem to be slow and methodical. It's high paced. Oh, and Ted DiBiase. He's already getting involved. You, you, you had to imagine it was going to be before long. Oh, and I scored by, but it's a rope break. I don't think Pete Dunn's going to appreciate that. No, he has any drops. EC3. He drops him. It's just been, it's been all Pete Dunne. It's all been the Bruiserweight. He knows that Ted Ibiase, I mean, he's already pulling shenanigans like that. And EC3 is going to try and, uh, you know, the, uh, EC3 doesn't need this. We saw his impressive performance at TakeOver. He doesn't need cheap tactics like this. But, hey, if he's got, if, if, if the option's going to be there, he's going to use it. Spinning discus form smash there by Pete Dunne. A perfect combination of strikes. And a perfect combination, oh, he's going for a suplex. A perfect combination of strikes and grappling. Oh, look at this, oh my goodness, AC3 now looking for that cradle. Inside cradle here, there's a one kite. Oh, oh no, hold on. 
Look at this, Pete Dunn able to reverse it. He's able to reverse it, but he gets the kick out. Gets the kick out, and a boot to the face. Oh, welly. Watch out for that. Oh, look. Oh, hold on. Pete Dunn. Signature Pete Dunn with the X-Plex. Hooks the leg. And once again, DVRC getting on that apron. Distracting Heath Slater. Hey, he's coming in handy. I don't know how much he costs. Oh, look at this. Oh, as he tries to attack Ted DVRC. Slater gets taken down that exchange. Oh, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn landing the better end. Oh, on to Ted DVRC. He's not the youngest, but he got nailed with the better end. And oh, no. Pete Dunn got nailed with a low blow from out of nowhere. Hooks the leg. No, not like this. Not like this. He gets a three kind. One, two, three off the low, the low blow. The surprising low blow. That's all it took. I'm sure Pete Dunn could take a lot more damage, but it's just the fact that he got bamboozled. He got surprised. He got outdone, let's be honest. The million dollar prince and the million dollar man. Oh no, what's this? As you saw Teddy Biossi slide a chair at the end there. Oh no, no, no. And he's not going to do a number on him. On a steel chair. Raining down on the Pete Dunn. AC3 making a statement. He thought he was impressive at TakeOver. Well, he's not doing it for you. He's doing it for himself. He's doing it for his own benefit. And in some way, you got to respect that, respect that, but not like this. The 1%. Folks, we got to keep on moving. The Million Dollar Prince. Right now, let me take you back. We've got an Edge interview for you all to watch.
We gotta keep on moving. You saw the replay of that Edge and the Edge in the Starcade World Cup. And Edge is gonna be facing off against Bobby Roode next week. In the beginning of the B block quarterfinals of the Hammerstein Ballroom. You don't wanna miss next week. But folks, we have got a number one contendership match for you now. We have had this is match number four or five. This is the penultimate match before the main event of Jeff Hardy and Johnny Gargano, which should be a great match. But this match is a number one contendership match for the Tag Team Championships. The Tag Team titles held by Lionheart. That faction comprising of Daniel Bryan, Johnny Gargano, and Sami Zayn. Daniel Bryan and Johnny Gargano have been the ones tag teaming it with each other. And Johnny Gargano won half the Tag Team Champions as well. He's going to be defending... Yeah, he's going to be going up against Jeff Hardy in the main event. So that's sure to be an exciting match. That's a dream match in itself right there. But we've got Latino World Order. You saw Rey Mysterio make his entrance. And you see his partner just about to come out. The matching gears. It's Andrade Cien Almas. One of the guys who has the biggest potential in this company is Andrade Cien Almas. Rey Mysterio, we all know how Rey is good. Possibly one of, if not the best, luchador to ever walk the face of God's green earth. But Andrade Cien Almas could be that next generation. And it's it's such a great pairing. It has taken a while for these two to get to a cohesive stage. But they had an incredible performance at TakeOver. They didn't win the titles, but they are looking to stay in that championship uh, arena. They want to stay in that area. They want to stay up there. They want to be contendership. Or they want to be champions. Of course, that is the goal for them. But they are, I suppose, going to have a tough task ahead of them. Although it depends. It depends, see, because Andrade and Rey, they, they are so unified now from what they used to be. But the other team, well, they've never tagged before. And there's also dissension going on in that faction. We'll get to that when they start making the entrances. As I've said, Andrade and Rey. It's taken a while for these two to get together. But now they have. And now they seem to want a cohesive unit. It is two contrasting personalities. The fans are cheering both of them. But you, there's two different approaches there. You've got classic Rey. Playing by the books. Doing all that. Andrade willing to bend the rules a wee bit more. That's... that's I'll leave it at that. Kind of yin and yang situation, but now we've got the other team. The Nation of Domination. The new Nation of Domination, the reincarnated Nation of Domination, and out first, coming its leader, Roman Reigns. And I'd be remiss if I don't remind folks, this man still on a losing streak. It's all pomp and circumstance for the entrance. When he gets down to that ring, that man has lost every single match he's been a part of for about two months now. Ever since he lost against Seth Rollins at Clash of Champions, he's lost every single match. And it's, it's, not, it's not like a tag team situation where his partner gets pinned. This is actually the first tag match he's been a part of this, this season. No, no, no. Single matches. Well, he had it. He had his lights caved in against Brock Lesnar a couple weeks ago. I'm surprised he even walking. But he he's got one final chance, one final chance to prove himself. And he's proven himself with one of his members in the Nation of Domination. By the way, if if Roman Reigns wasn't so stubborn, if he wasn't so inconsiderate, if he was a better leader. The Nation of Domination, I feel like, would dominate Nitro. Let me just remind you, we've got Roman Reigns. And let's be honest, let's not discount Roman. He's main evented WrestleManias multiple times. And it's it's insane. He's won the title, the top title multiple times. And then the other members, you've got Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, one of the who's his partner tonight, who will be making his entrance shortly. Bobby Lashley's so impressive. And he's actually making his debut tonight. Shockingly enough. I don't know why it's taking this long to make his debut. But that's just the case. Like, look at this guy. Former ECW champion. Former Impact World champion. He's got the toolkit. Just needs this opportunity. Once he gets in that ring, he'll show. 
all of us what he's got. Also in the nation, Jose Valenzuela. The former No Way Jose. That may seem like a strange fit, but he's got a new attitude. But we haven't seen him in weeks. I don't know what the crack is with him. Roman Reigns has been denying him the opportunity of showing up. And then you also have Mark Henry, former World Heavyweight Champion Mark Henry. You know, the man that invented and inducted people into the Hall of Pain, that Mark Henry. And yet, Bobby Lashley is getting featured. And he's been the man confronting Roman. Interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Rey Mysterio, starting this one off the LWO. Roman Reigns, of course. Getting into the ring. Referee Heath Slater rings the bell, as I've said. Number one contendership match. Roman Reigns immediately taunted by Logan Reigns. Stereo, not wasting any time. If there's one thing we can say about tonight, no one's wasting any time tonight. They know what's up for stakes. All matches are high stake on Nitro. All matches matter. It's not just filler. And we get a spin heel kick there from Rey Mysterio. He's got new life in him, it seems. Getting a bit of a WCW attire on the go, it seems. It is Nitro after. Oh, oh a spiking Hurricane Rana. And a Rey bouncing like he's Rey Mysterio Jr. back in WCW. Back, it's, back like it's 1997. That's the way Mysterio's been moving. Mysterio's been moving like that in fairness for like 30 years. It's so impressive. And now you're getting some tag team offense here. These two are so synchronized. Double drop kick. Bobby Lashley looking for the tag. Roman Reigns either refusing or too dazed to go over for it. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter because Roman Reigns is getting destroyed. What is this? Like? Hold on a second. No. Oh, a surprising strength from Rey Mysterio, the LWO. You don't see Rey's strength come out very often. But you see this athletic ability. No, not already. He sets him up for the 619. Oh my goodness, already. He scales to that top rope. No, 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 no. And a frog splash. Rey's feeling froggy. He goes for the tag already. Already the nation and are in an uphill fight here. No, and Andrade with a frog splash of his own halfway across the ring. He makes it. Oh no, wait. He turns to Bobby and takes him out. He knocks him down to the outside. Roman is like well and truly out here. Let's be honest. Two frog splashes, 619. Just all the moves, it's just not stopped. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. Vintage LW with the diving double Meteora. Mysterio hooks a leg, surely not, surely not, a three count, Bobby Lashley didn't even enter the ring, but the LWO are your number one contenders for the tag team championships, you're getting LWO versus Lionheart at Survivor Series, that was embarrassing, Kurt Hawkins has had better performances than that, Roman Reigns once again Failing the nation of domination. Bobby Lashley didn't even get a chance to get into the ring. And he does not look happy. Look at him. He's just staring at Roman. All of the anger that must be bubbling inside Bobby Lashley. Look at his face. He's just staring. He picks him up. No, a kick in the gut. No, wait a second. Bobby Lashley with the Dominator. The Dominator to the outside. The LWO have left. They've went up the ramp, but Bobby Lashley is not done with Roman Reigns. Not a chance. No, he picks him up. He is sick. He is fed up. This is from the other members of the nation. Two dominators. Bobby Lashley saying, I didn't get a chance to be in the ring. So I'm showing you exactly what I'm made of. Sets him up. Look at that strength of that dominator again. Roman Reigns. The message is loud and clear. The nation are finished with you. Bobby Lashley kicking Roman out of the nation of domination.
some emphatic words there. Some very emphatic words there from Seth Rollins towards his number one contender. Who will we be seeing in this main event? But look at this. I think this is Lionheart. These are the tag team champions. And I think there might be either an homage or a parody to Evolution. Right. In fairness, these guys, if anyone deserves a chance to laugh, it is these guys. Let's be honest. These guys have been so dominant. I know Sammy's had multiple attempts at the Intercontinental Championship, and those opportunities have not come to fruition. Granted, that is true. But, like, the ta they've dominated the tag team division. Like, it's impressive. And Daniel Bryan, obviously, taking the, the <laughs> place of Triple H with the water bottle. I, I assume that's going to be on NitroShop.com. <laughs> Officially uh, branded drunken water. And look at these, all these guys. That, you know, they've got their super serious faces on. It's kind of a delight. You can see it's Johnny Gargano out of the three who's going to be wrestling. Gargano in his wrestling attire. Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan not. Daniel Bryan, the mastermind. He was like the Nick Fury of the group, bringing these guys together. And now, okay, Johnny Gargano uh, clearly is Batista. Triple H and Randy Orton. <laughs> right, well, I don't know how much uh, Triple H, Randy Orton and Batista will appreciate that, but uh, good thing they're not here. Yes, as I've said, they are the tag team champions. However, we're, we're laughing now. And in fairness, it is good to laugh. But Gargano, it's not going to be any laughing matter. Let's just, let's just be honest. It's, his opponent is, has completely transformed himself. He is completely different from the man we once knew. And he's making his debut tonight. Well, at least making his debut in a match. We've seen him multiple times, the so-called, so nicknamed, Antichrist, and I hate that nickname. I hate that nickname. I despise it. But that's what he calls himself. The Antichrist. Jeff Hardy. It's... It's like he's trying to annoy folks, you know what I mean? You can see him, like, walking smugly down. Another... You can hear... You might be able to hear it in the background. Another me is what they'll never be. If this sounds familiar, he used this back in 2011 and he seems to have gone back to that persona this seems to be darker though in the vignettes that we've seen there seems to be a hand in the shot He's, it seems like Jeff is talking to the hand is it is is someone else coming? I do not know I don't know what the crack is with that to be honest but Jeff Hardy it's gonna be a TLC match at Survivor Series a TLC match against Seth Rollins Universal Championship going to be hanging above the ring. Tables, ladders, chairs, everything is legal. And Jeff Hardy. Well, here we go. The Rabble Heart versus Jeff Hardy. Sado's rung the bell. Gargano immediately taunting to the crowd, trying to get the crowd on his side. And Jeff Hardy, oh my goodness, this is the one I'm talking about, the new aggressive side of Jeff Hardy. Cross body and striking Gargano immediately. Not wasting time, and look at this, going to the head, going to that punch after punch. Goodness me. As I've said, we've seen Jeff Hardy, we've seen what he's able to do, he's attacked. He's attacked Seth multiple times anyway. He's given his justification, I suppose so, but it's, I don't know. I don't know. He's turned his back on the fans, and he's. This is a completely different Jeff Hardy. Look at the punches, the pure aggression. Usually he's flying about the ring. Although, as you can. Oh, look at this now. As you can see, there's still some remnants of Jeff Hardy, but like. It's like. He's evolved himself. Oh no, wait, what's this? Hold on, no. A pile drive! Oh my, come on! We've seen Jeff utilize that pile driver. We saw him pile drive Seth Rollins from the apron to the floor. And what's this now? Oh, no, no. The gory neck breaker. 
Completely new, completely different Jeff Hardy. The twist of hate. The twist of hate. By Jeff Hardy. He picks up Gargano. He picks up Gargano as, as Slater is distracted. Wait, as the Slater is distracted. Jeff has removed that turnbuckle pad. Hold on a second. No. Smashing Gargano's head. Off that turnbuckle pad. No, he sets him up. What is this? Oh, no. We've seen him use this on Seth Rollins. It's that cutter. Oh, my God. I don't know what Jeff calls that. It's destructive, though, and Gargano is out. One, two, three. Wait, what? Gargano didn't kick out. Jeff just got stopped the kind. Oh, he's not done with him. He's not done with him. You gotta be, no, no. Smashing his head off against that turnbuckle post again. That exposed steel. And he's just slapping him. The knife edge chopped. No, he sets him up again. Once again for that cutter. Now the, no, the neck. You can see Zayn recoil in horror. In the background. Jeff hooks leg. One, two, three. The new Jeff Hardy. He's dangerous. He's a threat. Up until now, Seth has been dominant. This might be the most legit threat. The most legitimate, the most scary threat to his championship. A dominant performance by Jeff Hardy. Well, folks, we thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching tonight. We will see you. Oh my god! Out of nowhere! Seth Rollins! We saw Seth in the interview. Yes, he's fresh and clear, but he's in his gear. And he is. Oh my. He's, I think he's paying Jeff a wee bit back from the sneak attacks. And a moonsault. Jeff. Oh, it's Seth looking better than ever. He is. Oh, he's not wasting any time anyway, is he? Oh, he grabs him off, Jeff, with the needed gut. And Jeff looks to retreat. He looks to retreat. And a barrel roll over the top rope. Seth not letting Jeff escape that easily. This is some of the chaos that you're going to see. The reverse neck breaker. This is some of the chaos you're going to see at Survivor Series. It's going to be TLC. Oh, he's looking for the King Slayer. Jeff with a kick to the gut. Kicks him in the gut. And I'm throwing him away now. Throw him away into the ring. As Jeff Hardy high tails it out of here. Seth slides into the ring. And there he is. Your Universal Champion is back. Sending a message directly to Jeff Hardy. Thank you all very much for watching this episode. Episode 15 of Nitro. We're going to be at the Hammerstein Ballroom next week. It's going to be a wonderful show. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.